Aha! I caught you! What are you doing? Not watching the ghost of Molly McGee. Hey, you should watch the ghost of Molly McGee. It's actually a really good show. Okay, yes, I did talk about it when it first came out, but I don't really like that video that much. So, yeah, actually, no. For forget I even talked about the video. Don't go watch it. It's terrible. Please don't watch that video. No, but in all seriousness, the ghost and Molly McGee is a really great show. Now, for those of you who have not seen Molly McGee, it's about the title character, Molly McGee, and this ghost named Scratch. Now, Molly McGee, Molly, she's really hyperactive. She has an explosive personality and Scratch, not so much. She's really grumpy. And when Molly moves into Scratch's abandoned house, he curses her. And this curse actually backfires on him, and now he's stuck with her for all of eternity. So I will not spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen the last few episodes. But you know, how Disney knowing, it's not that hard to find them online, you know. But today, viewer, I will not be talking about Molly or Scratch. I'll be talking about Andrea Davenport. If you are new to the channel, you don't know that I am a huge Andrea fan. I used to use her as my avatar all the time. She is probably one of my favorite characters on the show next to Molly and Pete. So in the future, if I ever make a Molly McGee tier list or ranking video, you probably know where those three characters are gonna go. Now, Andrea is not the first mean girl stereotype that I absolutely adored by the end of say the first season i mean hey you got amity pacifica well she kind of came around in season two and not to mention sasha from amphibia now these girls were all mean when we first met them we all thought they were the antagonist to the main character but over time they changed themselves and actually grew up unlike some people chloe Pretty bad writing, Thomas Astruct. No, but in all seriousness, I mean, think about it. MD went from the stereotypical mean girl who just wanted to crap on everyone, including Willow, especially Willow, half of which Willow, remember that? Remember when I hated Amity? Yeah, I, 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 we don't talk about that time in my life. But um, yeah, so Amity went from this really mean girl to actually caring about people and actually caring about Luce and actually understanding who Luce is and where she came from. And later on, becoming her super awesome girlfriend. Uh, Pacifica, you know, she was the average mean girl. She was the rival to Mabel. That was kind of their whole setup. But over time, when they, you know, got to talking, got to bonding, they became kind of frenemies. But I would say, at least by the end of the last episode, they were actually pretty good friends. And Pacifica got Mabel a nice golf club. Another example. Sasha from Amphibia. Now, she's kind of interesting in her own way. She was kind of manipulative uh, to Anne. You know, obviously we saw that. We can say she was manipulative to Marcy as well. Even though we didn't necessarily see that, we have clues throughout the series that it might have happened. And her manipulative ways still continued when she landed in Amphibia. She didn't change at all. And, you know, you could maybe say, oh, maybe she was just joining the Toads to find uh Anne and marcy well at the same time she still kind of fell into that trap even if that's true but eventually she did regroup with the other girls and well it was kind of like uh iffy it was kind of awkward silence at that time you know like when they were at the temples in season two it was kind of messy their friendship it was it was just messed up really and then that's when she betrayed them with grime taking the calamity box for herself but eventually she realized her wrongdoing and she would turn back helping everyone and therefore becoming one of my favorite characters in not only the show but in cartoon history well uh let's go back to andrea when we first meet her in the first episode of the ghost of molly mcgee she is very stereotypically mean to molly who well and fairness got her name wrong but hey it's not that much of a deal but i can understand how that would get someone mad but all throughout the episode she literally harasses molly but she does change and that's our next act now you might be asking me why did i put change in quotes 
Well, that's because Andrea has been the same the whole time. Now, okay, okay, I know what you're saying. Miraculous guy, how could Andrea be the same the whole time? She was literally mean and disrespectful to Molly in the first episode. Well, you would be right, but that's mostly because Molly got her name wrong. If you pay attention over the course of season one, you can notice that Andrea is rarely ever mean or harassing Molly ever again. And if it seems like she's being mean, like taking over her whole movie and making it to her own, that's just simply her personality, how she grew up with her family. Her mom and dad didn't really pay attention to her. Andrea simply wants to be noticed by people. And that's where I think Andrea is separated from the stereotype. I mean, look back at all the stereotypical mean girls. Most likely, they had parents who manipulated them into acting that way. Andrea wasn't manipulated, she wants to be noticed by her parents. Her parents don't care about her. Oh, miraculous guy, if her parents didn't care about her, why does she have all these name brand items and all these, you know, things? Well, that's not necessarily caring about someone, just giving them stuff. No, you need to be an actual parent and care about your child. Andrea is neglected by her parents, her mom not even speaking a line in season one. Also, just so you know, I'm recording this video before the finale, so I actually don't know if she does speak a line, but who knows. This being how Andrea is being neglected by her parents, probably as a baby, she was literally crying and her dad gave her like a teddy bear and left and she stopped crying. That's what you don't do. You have to actually care about your child. And obviously, Andrea is not cared for it, and that's why I think she is the way she is. Not because her parents manipulated her into being mean like so much of the other girls, like Pacifica and, um, her name escapes me, um... Or like Amity. Now, a lot of people tend to compare... Andrea and Amity, which, okay, that makes sense. I understand how you would compare them. But then they go on and say that Andrea Davenport will never be Amity Blight. Now, that's the thing. Andrea is not trying to be Amity. Andrea is actually a lot different from Amity's character. I mean, sure, both are very popular and rich girls who had or do have blue hair. Sure, they do have parents who don't really care for them but in this case Amity's parents were manipulative and Andrea's parents just didn't care for her I mean just notice how far Amity's character has come in season one by the end of season one we know she has a crush on Luce versus Andrea Andrea just developed into Molly's friend she simply just wanted to be Molly's friend also yes I do ship Andrea and Molly I'm sorry I'm sorry you Libby Molly shippers out there, but I just love Andrea and Molly. But to sum things up, Andrea was never mean in the first place. She was just simply angry at Molly for getting her name wrong, most likely because, most likely because people usually get her name wrong because people tend to not care or pay attention to her. Think about that. In conclusion, that's why I think Andrea is the way she is. People usually don't care or pay attention to her, so she likes to make herself known. And that explains basically almost everything we saw in season one. For act three, I thought, why not talk about the relationship? Or for some of you guys, friendship, you, you know relationship can mean more than lovers, right? I thought, why not give my thoughts on how I think their relationship will go in the future. Now, since we know Andrea does not hate Molly, she simply just wanted to be her friend this entire time, I think Andrea will hang out with Molly more and kind of break the mold of this well-off popular girl uh, vibe she gives off. And eventually, yes, they will hang out more, and maybe Andrea even finds out about Scratch, becoming closer with Molly and growing their relationship. I mean, just imagine that. Molly and Andrea becoming closer, and Andrea either finding out about Scratch or Molly telling her about Scratch, 
growing her character. I see that as an absolute win for both Molly and Andrea. Maybe even Scratch. Also, if I'm going to be honest, I would love to see a ship war between Libby and Andrea. I would love to see Libby jealous, and not just in a weird messed up way, just because that's something you want to see in a story. You want to see romances and how everyone's gonna end up with each other and who knows maybe i'll even ship molly and libby if i see that also just so you guys know i already watched the finale and i'm glad andrea was not in it and not in a oh i didn't like that character so i'm glad they weren't in the episode i'm just glad that we kind of just ended andrea's arc right there she realized that she wants to be best friends with molly and i'm so glad we didn't get any more to expand that until season two and that's good because that keeps us waiting for molly mcgee season two in conclusion andrea absolutely amazing character so far i love the writing and molly mcgee in general was just such a great 10 out of 10 everyday saturday morning cartoon i just really loved it it didn't have to be that story driven it was just a really good cartoon in general, and I hope we get more of it in the future. Hey, just tell me what you guys thought about Molly McGee down below. How did you like the season? Was the finale great? Please, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Apart from that, this has been the Miraculous Guy. It has been an absolute honor of doing this video, which I do like almost every month, week, but still, it was such a great honor if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe that'll be greatly appreciated again i'm the miraculous guy have a wonderful day or night wherever you're in the world and i will see you later up up and away <laughs> wow the likes and comments are blowing up my phone i think i'm subscribed